What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, coming at you with hopefully some decent commentary. But what I do know we're gonna get now is an amazing set of Tekken. It's Arslan Ash with his trademark Kazumi, sometimes plays geese, going up against Ni himself, Devil Jin. And this has become quite the rivalry ever since 2018, right? OU Gaming Tournament, Arslan Ash putting himself and the Middle East and Asian region on the map. Like, out of nowhere, it's like, well, Pakistan, uh, super strong Tekken nation. And he defeats Ni, you know, but he was the strongest player in 2018 and st still remains one of the absolute strongest players. He's, well, pretty much the god of Tekken these days. Uh, well, he has been for a long time, one of them. Uh, so, uh, there's been somewhat of a rivalry. It feels like Arslan has always had the upper hand on me. It's like Arslan is Ni's kryptonite. Um, they've played casuals, they've played in many tournaments. Arslan always seems to have Ni's number. But so now, uh, it was this yesterday, I think it was, they played again a Tiger Uppercut tournament in Thailand. So please check the full tournament um, if you have the time, you know, uh, killer players at the tournament. And Arslan Ash <laughs> makes it to grand finals and he's in winner from winners. And Ni, as you can see, from losers. So Ni has to win the first first to three here to even reset to get the chance to actually take home the whole thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, everyone's of course wondering, like, will Ni be able to overcome Arslan? How strong is Arslan now? I know he had a hard time at the uh, Invitational that Kudans won, where he won $60,000. But, of course, Arslan, OU Gaming took down Ni, and then later at EVO Japan, a stacked tournament with all the killer players from Korea and Japan, and... Uh, he pretty much demolished everyone. Uh, Jimmy J, uh, Mr. Naps actually did very, very well versus Arslan, but even him, you know, he was taking, taken down. Uh, so I'm gonna try and do some commentary here. Arslan is up one round, looking good. And very known for his strong movement and very, very careful and safe play with, uh, with Kazumi, uh, which is, of course, one of the most fundamental characters. Um, he never <laughs> overextends, uh, does so much with only jabs down forward one and down back four. And uh, completing his defensive play are lightning fast reactions where he just punishes uh, pretty perfectly all the time. Uh, he's just... Yeah, such a fundamentally strong player, no wonder he plays Kazumi. Um, he just plays 100% Tekken. No tricks, just fundamentals. Movement, jabs, down forward one. Uh, his side steps are so crisp. And even on the side steps where he sees like, oh, I got a side step, doesn't overextend, he doesn't go for a hop kick, usually opts for 1-1-2, one, one, knock down into pressure. Uh, but again, yeah, up two rounds here on knee. Oh, wall flip, wow, he is feeling himself. Uh, and knee going for double chin, which he usually opts for versus Arslan, so I guess he feels... Uh, Ni, as we all know, likes to counter pick. He has his ideas and strats, you know, character matchups, what character should t should do well against another. And obviously, he feels Devil Jin is the character to go versus Kazumi, but I think this is just an overall response that Kazumi is a pretty perfect character. Sorry for that drill, I hope you don't hear it. It's outside a construction yard. Uh, but Kazumi is a pretty flawless, perfect character. You know, it's just fundamental, so like, might as well go with Devil Jin, who's also a perfect, pretty flawless character uh, that is at the top of a tier list. Um, I think that's a pretty good choice. Um, but yeah, okay, so yeah, sorry, I'm just yapping away, I'm trying to talk about the overall bigger picture here. But now, uh, Ni got a round, but yeah, Arslan got the match, so that was 3-1. Hello, Arslan, looking at me with those beautiful eyes. My knees, they're getting weak. 
Um, what is it he always says, Arslan? They will bend the knee or I will destroy them. Jesus Christ, Arslan. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, he starts out very strong here. Uh, Arslan getting the first match. Uh, yeah, it's not looking. It's looking pretty bleak. Uh, knee is a god. He can swing this around at any time. But what we know from history is that he has a very hard time versus Arslan. He is in losers and now 1-0. So let's see if he changes up the pace. Nice uh, laser cannon there. Big whiff. Uncharacteristic for Arslan to whiff and eat on electric in the face. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh, twice uh, knee whiffs down four and uh, Arslan capitalizes immediately and launches him with Ford free two. But it's looking very good here for knee. Arslan is low on health here. Now, oh god, so unlucky to have him at one HP. But there we go, down four to close out the round. Great play. So knee, great start to this match. Up one round. Oh, big electric. This is gonna be wall. Laser cannon, max damage. What's for breakfast? Keeps him at the wall. Doesn't really dare go in with a mix up. Not very aggressive play. He's waiting for Ash, actually. Here we see the relentless trademark uh, jab down for one pressure from Kazumi. It's so simple, but so effective. The frames and the hitboxes are really with her. You see, both players just waiting for the uh, other player to dedicate himself to an attack. Both really favoring defensive play here. Only 10 seconds left, or Ash with a lead. So Nii is gonna have to do something now. Oh no, is it over? Rage drive? Yeah, you, you just had no time left. What do you say to that? What was it? Knee must have been stressed. I'm willing to hold my mid guard. Take the hell sweet man. Time's expiring anyway. I'm gonna take this round. Nice, locking him down from stepping with the laser cannon. But uh, still gets launched. Of course, uh, Kazumi wall damage is huge. Oh. Eats a mix up. Now you're at the wall, such a terrible position. Great sidestep back one two. <laughs> Warrior steps away, but nope. Knee's not having it. One one two to the ground. Both players looking at each other. Big counter it and this should be it. Oh no. <sighs> that should have been it. Uh, nice, nice finish. Uh, okay, so me definitely in the lead here. 2 1. Needs one more round. Yeah, the small pokes going back and forth. 1 1 to knockdown. No vortex. Doesn't commit to. To anything, just waiting for Ash to respond. Nice one one two with punish. No up forward four, but yeah, it's very linear. There's a good chance Ash is gonna step it. Oh, big rage drive. Can you close it out? Oh, this is gonna be it. No, one HP. Oh my god! Oh, my oh god. sick. That's so clutch. Nice. Nee, um, wow. It's gotta feel good about that. Like now, 1-1. One, one. You need to take this set to get the reset. You need to take the set to get the reset. Oh man, I'm such a rapper. MC main man. Every single mistake your opponent does, you gotta really Ash that. looks very I calm and collected. Which he <laughs> usually is. I so seldom see him make like real yeah, mistakes. Like 
it just uh, no matter how much pressure is on him it's like he he just he's so collected it's, it's so scary man it's, it really is okay so one one we're in claudius church beautiful stage i love it it's so clear can me get another match here huge electric with punish on standing four laser cannon breakfast again he just doesn't want to commit to offense he wants ash to stand up give it me something to work with and try and get a a punish I don't know, I just feel like, Ni nee, nee knows this much better than I do, but I feel like he should try and mix it up with some more crazy offense. Um, I don't know, it's just me. Nee knows better of course, but I kind of feel like he's giving Ash way too much room to breathe. Nice. Yeah, have him at the wall. Is he gonna try and pressure? That was a nice call from Arsenal Nash as well. If you went for the, uh, went for the so launch, careful play by me. He's so careful. Another low. Oh my God. Which obviously is motivated by Arslan's just fantastic movement and defense. Oh, big down one two. Down for one two. I oh no, you have no time. That's, that's not gonna be enough. And then he's only gonna have three seconds, but that's enough to apply a mix up. Mix up. Nice! Arslan immediately rage drives, but it wasn't enough. Uh, it wasn't fast enough to actually uh, even trade with uh, me running in one two two. That was faster. This place the whole time they're playing is silent. Damn, me looking really good here. Up to two rounds, and now Arslan's down in health. Big electric. No, you are kidding. No, 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 not like that. No, no. Oh, nice. nice. Wow. Oh, that would have been so fucking frustrating, I think, if just due to that laser cannon hit uh, with thing. Uh, if he had dropped around, oh god, that would have been so oh frustrating. Um, but uh, really good, really good here, me. Two one. He's one more match to reset. Huge damage from the wall, wall bounce. Run up goes low. Down four, nice house sweep. This is gonna be wall two, four, three, four. Wall combo back four. What's for breakfast? Back four is blocked. Me actually trying to pressure now uh, at wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> The move, and he actually blocked that low. Oh my goodness. He's down for one and he just commits the guard. He commits the guard to just side. <laughs> just so fun to watch this highly defensive play. Nice. Can't believe he got the full laser cannon right at the wall. Big lead. Big lead. 1-1-2. One, one, this should be knees round. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, no. 
that time he doesn't doesn't go for anything crazy. He wants to be able to work, maintain wall positioning. Jab pressure from me. Jab pressure from Arslan. And the That's bow so goes. annoying. Like you block the down back four, and you expect to get your tsunami while setting four four punish, but you're too far away. And then of course Arslan gets the punish, and then momentum shifts. It's just so frustrating. But oh, Nee still got the round, and that's the important part. Oh nice. Back four, yeah, breakfast. Yeah. Back four, nice. Again, the big thing is the Applying somewhat of a yes. vortex here now. Well, nice punish. Burn. Max damage. Oh my wall. god, what happened there? Nee looking very good here. Fifteen seconds left. Oh. Arsfan has rage. It's, it's quite even, but yeah, he has a rage drive. Something should happen. Something. No time. Oh my god! Oh my god! See, he's so careful, but still, yeah, he got out poked. Oh my goodness! Chopping away, chopping away. Comes Nido with his own jab pressure. Again, earning those lows with all that strong mid poking at that range. Demon Paw just out of range. Oh, just out of range of the flash punch, man. That you feel for him. <laughs> Ash just backdashing, backdashing, backdashing. Not at all afraid to end up at the wall. Now he's more offensive, protecting his position. Mixing up his play oh very just well, oh, and of course he doesn't want to end up at the wall. It's just not a good position at all. Big house sweep, but again, you guys are running out of time every single fucking round. Looking at each other so much. So two two. Uh, again, Ni has to take one more match to reset the bracket. He has to take the next match. Just look at their expressions after each game. Mental pressure. Oh so but Arslan is looking so effortless and comfortable. Whereas you see Ni nee tries to change up his play a little bit. Go from very defensive to slightly putting on more pressure, but he just seems a little bit lost still versus Arslan. Where he just doesn't really know how to counter Arslan's style. But it's 2-2 now, uh, so Nii of course needs this match, if Arslan wins this match he is the champion of Tiger Uppercut 2019. It's really solidifying him once more as one of the absolute most powerful forces in the competitive Tekken scene right now. A god, because he's beaten pretty much all of the gods in this tournament. Big health sweep, you're gonna need this knee, a good chance to take the round. What's for breakfast, back four, keep up the pressure, back four. Yeah, Arslan gets the sidestep, momentum shifts, and he starts poking, and it's so hard to get out of it. Kazumi's range. Kazumi's range. So yeah, Arslan, one round, needs two more to become the champ. Oh, big whiff, 432, you're launched, it's looking bad, 55% of your health bar gone, you needed that throw break, but again, you're at the wall, so Arslan's gonna, probably going to be aggressive now. He wants you at that wall. He needs you at that wall. Uh, but good chance for a comeback here. Even both have rage. No! Looking very bad. I, just, I, I don't know. To me, it just looks like Neil respects Arslan so much. And of course, he's got great movement and defense. Of course, you want to respect him a bit, but 
I feel like Lee doesn't go crazy enough. And and honestly, uh, just to make this point clearer, who's the one who pwned Arsene Ash at Evo Japan when no other player could do that, including all of the gods? Boa Love with Kazuya. And what does Boa Love do? That goes crazy out of his fucking mind, aggressive, with hell sweeps all over the city. You know, I, I just feel like give me something neat. Give me some, please, you're please. playing Arslan's game here when you give him this much space. But of course, Ni knows 50 times more than I do. This is just my pathetic analysis of this, but I just I just feel like he, he has to be more pitbull sometimes. And he has tried to mix up with slightly more aggressive play, but these ti constant time, time, up, times up, times up. That's gonna be it. Yeah, that was it. And massive congrats to Arslan, just proving once more he's just such a fucking monster, a Tekken god. Uh, and this, this is a guy you know we haven't heard about. What half a year ago? <laughs> Not long ago at all, and he just keeps proving uh, again and again that uh, he's uh, he's here to stay and uh, I really hope I don't know if he's going to Evo or not I really hope he is uh, would love to see him at the biggest tournament of the year um, it wouldn't be the same without him there um, but uh, yeah just uh, incredible play and he playing incredibly well here uh, but yeah, uh, we can all have our own opinions on how these guys play, but they are 50 times better than me and probably all of us watching this right now. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, fantastic matches. I hope you enjoyed the commentary and uh, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.